Hi, I'm Patrick, and I'm here at SnafuCon in Reno, Nevada. Uh, Snafu is the Sierra Nevada Anime Fans Unite. Uh, it was held October 24th through 26, 2014, at the Grand Sierra Resort and Casino in Reno. Um, they had uh, voice actors Laura Post, Chris Kaysen, Christopher Escalante, Preston Crowley, Melissa Laws. Uh, they had academic guests uh, Marissa Ames, Dr. Daryl Frazetti, Mark Shiro, and uh, it's some cosplay guests and The Slants, uh, the band they performed here. Uh, the convention was $40 for the weekend, $20 a day paid at the con. You can get cheaper rates in advance. Uh, and this is their fifth year. They started out in 2010 with 700 people, and last year they had 1,626 people. This year they expected between 1,500 and 2,000 people. And uh, it's hard to tell from the view back there, but I think they made it. Uh, now this is the main hallway in the street level of the uh, Grand Sierra Resort. Uh, the casino is upstairs. And, uh, but this is just one hallway and there's tons of rooms. They've got an excess of space. So lines were definitely not a problem. There's panel rooms around the corner. There's some really large rooms. They have the Nevada room there. They have a lot of music programming in. They had the dance in there, the concert. Uh, they're doing karaoke in there right now. Um, there's a video room a panel room, a workshop room, and then a com combination video panel room. So they can switch it over to show video or uh, do panels in there. Uh, the video room had a big pillar in the middle, but it was a big enough room, so it, they just had the chairs so that that wasn't in the way, and it wasn't a problem. Um, let's see, the, uh, yeah, there were really no lines for anything at this convention, and uh, so you didn't have to wait around, which is really good. Um, in their main event room, they have a combination of things. You have the uh, main stage where they had the masquerade and some other big events. Uh, and then there's a photo area that they used after the masquerade where after people would go on stage, they would go over there and get their picture taken. Uh, there's the video game corner with a ton of video games. They've got some consoles and some uh, stand-up arcade machines, this, even the Star Wars arcade machine. There was Dance Dance Revolution, tons of stuff to choose from. On the other side of the hall, they had the Artist Alley with uh, dozens and dozens of artists. And um, a lot of them were local, apparently. And uh, so it's good to see some local area talent. They also had some conventions and fan organizations in there to show off and get more people interested. Uh, there was a coloring table. There were some other tables that just set up for people to relax at. One of them had Lego spread out all over it so you could just, you know, build stuff. Uh, in the back corner of that room, they had some food where you could get a quick bite. But that's just one of many places here that you could eat. There was, there's a Johnny Rockets, there's a sandwich shop, there's round table pizza, and uh, there's plenty of other places down here too. There's an arcade, there's a yogurt shop, there's, um, it, there's just a bunch of stores. And uh, so it's, you don't have to go out and find food somewhere else. It's all right here. There's plenty of options. Uh, I didn't get tired of any of it and, you know, get a good meal at Johnny Rockets. Next day you go to Brown Table Pizza and uh, even upstairs, the casino, tons of restaurants. So you can go upstairs and uh, we had a buffet last night. It was excellent. Loved it. And um, yeah, casino upstairs. So it's Nevada, so, you know. And, uh, but it's kind of separated, so you don't have to worry about the muggles from the casino coming with the convention cosplayers, and so it's a, it's a really good atmosphere here. The, the panels, uh, one thing I thought was odd was, this is a 24-hour con, so there's stuff going from the moment it starts Friday to the moment it closes up Saturday, uh, Sunday afternoon, but the panels don't really start until noon, which seems odd. Usually I'm used to conventions. Some of them start crazy early, but most of the conventions I've been to start around 10 a.m., give or take. But this is noon, and so that seemed odd. But they do run late. They have the Nevada room where they've got karaoke programming, a lot of music programming, but they're doing karaoke in there right now, and it seems like it's just, you know, 
being overwhelmed by this massive amount of empty space around it. So it seems a little odd, but you know, t too much space is a good problem to have. Uh, there's also the vendors hall, which is uh, down right near the main room. They can close it off when the vendors halls are over, uh, when those hours are over. It's a long, thin room. They've got a decent amount of vendors. Um, they, they could probably move that into a bigger room and get some more vendors. Uh, now, I, I did think it was odd that the Artist Alley was in the main event room, but it closes at 9 p.m., but the main event room stays open 24 hours. So the artists have to kind of either cover their stuff and trust that people will not touch it and leave it alone, or they have to pack up every night. So I would recommend moving the Artist Alley into a room that can just be locked when Artist Alley is done, so that people can just leave their stuff and nobody will mess with it. Um, there's a gaming room that also runs 24 hours. Uh, the, the video games are in main events, which is open 24 hours, but the tabletop gaming room, you can just walk in and pick up a game with some friends and start playing. And so it's a, you know, for people that want to stay up late or if they get up early and there's nothing else going on, they can go in and play a game with some friends and, uh, or try out something new. Uh, the, they had, I mentioned the concert with the slants, they had a dance, there was the masquerade. Uh, now the masquerade uh, didn't have a whole lot of entries, a lot of them were walk-on and they went pretty quick. Then there were some skit entries and I, there were only like five of them, but except for one, they all played a complete song. So it was like four to five minutes each. And my number one rule of masquerades, if you're making a skit, is always leave them wanting more. When you're playing an entire song and you're just dancing, it gets old. And you know, no matter how good you think you are, people are going to get tired of it. So just do a quick thing and get off and let people like enjoy that. But when people start to wonder, how long? I get it. How much more? Uh, and you'll take note that the winner was the shortest skit. Best in show was the quickest. Um, spoiler. Uh, I will be posting the entire uh, Cosplay Masquerade, as, including the non-competing walk-ons during their halftime while the judges deliberated. So you can look for that on animecons.tv. Go to the extras. It's over on the side of the website. Uh, and it's also going to be on our YouTube channel. So just look for Snafu Khan Cosplay Masquerade 2014. Uh, let's see, the, oh, I forgot to mention there is uh, a movie theater, so you can go see a movie. Uh, the, I think second run movies, maybe even third run, but it's not the latest thing, but movie theater, so it's pretty cool. There's even a wedding chapel, so if you want to get married, you can do it right here. <laughs> um, I'm going to do mine somewhere else, though. Um, yeah, it's a friendly atmosphere. Uh, I really like the convention. Uh, the program guide, full color, full size program guide. So you get the map in the middle, so it just automatically opens up to that. That's really nice. Uh, and then all the information about the convention, descriptions of games and panelists, uh, information, and uh, then there's some little activities, that, like there's a word search in here somewhere. I just had it. Where to go? There it is. Huge word search. So, you know, if there's some downtime, that's going to take a while. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it's a nice glossy thing. Good to take a Sharpie to with the guests for autographs. And uh, so, yeah, I think, uh, let me check my notes here. That's uh, about all I have for this. Uh, but yeah, I had a really good time at this con and I would definitely consider coming back next year. Um, and if you're in northern Nevada or northern California, and you know, if you can get to Reno, definitely check out Snafu Con. Also, I want to say that I, the last time I was in Reno, I was driving through when I moved to California a year and a half ago. And I'm actually looking forward to the drive back because that was my favorite part of the entire drive across the country. Driving through the Sierra Nevada, dr near Lake Tahoe, the mountains and the hills, it's beautiful. So come visit Snafu Khan. It, enjoy the trip here, enjoy the con, enjoy the trip home. It's, it's a great convention and uh, I recommend it.
And uh, so thanks to SnafuCon, and thanks everyone here. Great time. And uh, we'll see you next time on AnimeCons TV. Um, Elizabeth's got another cosplay segment coming up. And if you want to see that and everything else we've got, subscribe. Find us on YouTube. Just If you're watching this on YouTube, just hit subscribe or search AnimeCons TV and subscribe there. Or you go to uh, AnimeCons.TV, and we've got subscription options on our website. Find on the right side, there's this subscription link and it gives you options for iTunes, for just an RSS feed, or Stitcher, and all sorts of stuff. So pick the option that's best for you, subscribe to Animecons TV, find us on Facebook, and on Twitter, and on Tumblr, and visit our website at Animecons TV, and you know, we're everywhere, so we'd love it if you'd subscribed and watched and followed us, and uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.